Let's turn to Whitewater. This week, the uh, Whitewater Special Prosecutor, Mr. Starr, got a federal judge to extend the life of that uh, grand jury uh, looking into the Whitewater case. He says there's extensive uh, evidence of obstruction of justice. Uh, if, as you say, there is nothing there, Mr. President, how can so many reputable, respected professionals keep pressing on with this? Well, that's your characterization, not mine. You don't uh, think Mr. Starr is, is a reputable person? No, I didn't say that. I said that was your characterization. Well, this thing's been going on for over three years. Tens of millions of dollars have been spent. And there have been, by the way, two federal reports by independent agencies saying that what I said and what my wife said in the very beginning of this was true, that we were not involved in running the savings and loan, that we lost money on a real estate deal, and that this whole inquiry is, is going after two people who lost money on a real estate deal made almost 19 years ago now. And that's what this whole thing has been about. And uh, so all I can do is keep smiling, keep cooperating, and answering the questions that are asked of me and spending my time being president. But, uh, you know, the, uh, the American people can reach their own conclusions about whether this has been worth the money that's been spent on it or the time that's being drug out on it. But I, I have told the truth. I will continue to tell the truth. That's all I can do. Well, you, you suggested one time that maybe Mr. Starr was out to get you. Do you think that's what's going on here? I don't have anything to add to what I've already said. I don't want to make any news on Whitewater. I want to make news as president. I want to, I'm sick and there are too many people in Washington, D.C. that spend all their time trying to destroy each other and not enough time trying to build up the American people. I'm going to spend my time trying to do the American people's business. We ought to do the public's business. Now, because I've done that for the last four years, we've got a record number of new jobs, a strong economy, a declining crime rate, the biggest drop in welfare rolls in history, and we're going to have the biggest increase in investment and improvement in education that we've had in a generation if my education program classes. That's what I'm going to do. This other business is just going to be over here in a box, and when I'm required to do something, say something, testify, I will do my best to cooperate as honestly and fairly as I can. Mr. President, we're just out of time, and I'm sorry. Uh, you're about to go through what many of us have, and that's the empty nest syndrome. Your daughter's going off to college. How does that, how do you feel about that? Oh, I have mixed feelings about it. For her, I'm happy. I feel an immense amount of pride. Uh, I thank God that uh, she's enjoyed good health and that her mother and I have had her these years. But for us, it'll be very tough. You know, maybe especially because we're such a small family. She's the only child we have. And we're sort of grafted all together. And we'll miss her uh, deeply. But for her, it's, it's what you work for a child for. You know, she gets to go out into the world. She gets to live. She gets to to have all those wonderful experiences that you parents hope for their children. So I'm personally sad, but uh, that's a selfish feeling. I'm going to be happy and proud on high school graduation day.